Poetry matters. Poetry, like all art, gives shape and texture and depth uh, of meaning to our lives. Poetry has taught me that wonder is the inevitable conclusion to fear. I think of poetry as soul talk. What I mean, it's deep talk. You're that soul to soul conversation that you had to have with people. Poetry to me is sort of what connects us all as individuals. Poetry is everything. <laughs> Art changes a human being. It opens the world up. The National Students Poets Program is the nation's highest program for recognizing original work by student poets. The only way to be considered for this distinguished appointment is by first winning a national medal in poetry in the Scholastic Awards. We do expect big things, and that's okay. The bar is high, but it's good to have a high bar. The program is a combination of our investing in these bright teen poets, and they're investing back into their communities. Five students are picked from around the country. They get to be ambassadors to go around the country speaking their stories. The National Students Poets Program is an exciting program for me to be involved with, primarily because I find to be exposed myself to a broad range of talent, a broad range of students, and also to see young students being encouraged in terms of language and in terms of creativity and expression. We take these raw talents and invest in them, and they truly grow as people over the course of the year of their service. The most exciting part of this program to me is the chance to work with uh, younger kids on poetry. What we had to do for NSPP is complete a year of service. Spreading knowledge of poetry, holding workshops, doing outreach. The community service project's really open-ended. The guidelines are basically just to create a project that engages new communities with poetry. All five of us definitely choose a demographic or topic that holds great personal meaning to ourselves. I thought maybe by the end of the year I would become a bit better of a poet, but I ended up becoming a better person. The impetus for the National Students Poet Program was to use the opportunity that we had on the President's Committee as a forum to bring more student voices onto the national stage. They work with a couple partners, the President's Committee on the Arts and the Humanities, the Alliance for Young Artists and Writers, which runs the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, and the Institute of Museum and Library Services are their three partners that help them find the student poets they want and give them the opportunities they get throughout the year. We see the National Student Poets Project as one of the critical programs in engaging youth in a love of creativity, learning, literature, and poetry. A good poem can make hard times a little easier to survive and make good times a lot sweeter. So find our teens that have exhibited the greatest talent and the greatest interest in writing and specifically in poetry and invest in them. Treat them like they're future Olympic athletes, but athletes of the page. Stop, stop, don't stop, stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, stop. It's a sport, but it's a sport of the heart and the mind. Here at the White House, we're guided by the belief that the arts can be the key to success in school and in life. Okay, this has been the best year ever. I thought that we could start by reading some poems. I'm seeing that people really are receptive to poetry and want poetry in their lives. They just didn't realize that it had a place there. And to be able to spread that sort of like the poetry in that to the community and uh, read and like kind of bring out, you know, the poetry that it's inspired in them is something pretty magical. But poetry uh, does not just matter to us as individuals, it matters to us as a people. No man to move against the pentatonics, who raise the ripe syllables of words for breakfast, and know that home is not where the heart is, but where the heart longs to go. I think the National Students Post program will continue to reach and spread and inspire kids all over the country. We need more poetry and poets in the world. And it starts locally, right in your house, in your school, in your community.